to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a set of cherry blossom nails. I do like, hang on, if you hear a beep, it's my foot massager. Hang on. Yes. Oh, I just need to oh, have a foot massager under my nail desk. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> anyway, um, I put a little, uh, I had a little play around with the nail sugar mini blossoms a little while ago. And uh, they got a pretty good reaction on instagram so i thought i would show you how i created that little uh did i do two nails i can't remember but i'm gonna do three nails today and on the original nails i used nail kami so i'm gonna use nail kami today i don't think i use this blue this blue is called pawpaw i think i might have used huckleberry on the original ones but i can't remember um but anyway i'm gonna do three nails and pop those into the lamp for 30 seconds. Now, I was having a little bit of a look over them, and there was on the left nail in the top right corner, can you see it's a little bit, it was a little bit patchy there. Um, you might need to go over with two coats. I didn't want to because I am gonna apply some clouds. So I've got the artisan gel paint in white. This is These artisan gel paints are literally the best things in the whole wide world. They are something that I could not do without. I'll have to do a video of things that I use all the time, like my staple things, if anyone's interested. Um, let me know, let me know in the comments below if you if you want like a video of things that I can't live without nail-wise for videos and doing nails. Um, just let me know and I'll I'll, uh, I'll do I'll do a video or something. Um, but anyway, these artisan gel paints are they're just amazing so i use a an eyeshadow applicator right so if you just gently dab it <clears throat> into that blob of white paint and then do a few dabs onto your palette just to get off any excess and then just sort of sponge it onto or dab it whatever the word is dab it onto the nails and it creates this really nice sort of i don't know if the word's stippled i don't think it's stippled is it just like you just get this really nice cloud look and I'm gonna do, a f uh, I'm gonna do sort of like three areas of clouds, like that top top left hand bit there. That's gonna be like one cloud across two nails. And then I'm gonna add a, another little bit here, just sort of coming off that middle nail onto the left nail, and then a little bit onto that right nail. See, right. And then I've just flash cured that for about 15 seconds, and then I'm gonna go in with a second coat just to give the cloud. Um, or the clouds a little bit more depth so you can see that we've got I'm, I'm putting this on a little bit thicker but it kind of adds because we've got the, the white underneath as well it kind of makes it a bit brighter and I mean I'm not a cloud expert I don't know any cloud names or anything I just kind of do what I feel looks all right and then once I'm happy you know Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt, shove it in the lamp. <laughs> so I'll give it a 30 second cure. Um, they do need to cure for 60 seconds, but we'll give it a full cure after we have finished doing this bit. Um, I'm using the brown artisan gel paint to create the tree branches. So I start from the left hand side and I'm gonna work my way across to the right hand side. If you're left handed, you will probably wanna do it from right to left. Just do whatever works best for you. So the, the branches that are on that left side are gonna be thickest. So they're gonna be thicker on the left and then thinner on the right. <laughs> and I'm trying to, what's the word i'm trying to line the the nails just trying to line them up so that the branches are all um so that they're all even i suppose is it even the right word it doesn't um no it doesn't you know you know what i mean i want them all to be like when you put all the nails together that branch will just go across all three nails without any do you know what you know what I mean? I can't, why can't I think of what I'm trying to say? This is awful, right? It's like the most easiest thing I'm trying to say, and I can't think of the words to say it. Am I? Am I? Have I got problems, or am I just? Did did people have problems like me? I can't. I don't know. I've noticed it, it's really bad. Ever since I've been doing YouTube videos, I, I can't. 
vocabularize that's probably not even a word i can't like put words together in my head i know what i want to say i just can't do you know what i mean i feel like maybe i'm just thick i think i'm just stupid <laughs> i don't care if i am anyway but yeah i want the nails to line up so that the branches line up oh my god i said it yes there we go i'm not that stupid just a bit fish. anyway um, uh, by the way, um, I'm going to upload this, what's the day today? This is Thursday, so this is Thursday's video, um, but I might do a live this afternoon, so you might get two videos today. Oh, I made a boo-boo, so all I'm going to do is, I've got my, I've got this like really old Miss You um, 3D, I mean look at the state of it, it's a right mess, it's not even a very good clean-up brush anymore because it's so, ugh. anyway, I just dip that in a little bit of gel cleanse and just wipe away that smudge bit that I made. I want to put another one, another little twig going up along here as well. And that that's going to also come off that left nail as well, just in that left nail's corner. Sort of like over the over the Oh, I needed to burp then, but it didn't come out properly. Over the cloud. Look there, look. There we go. There we are. Right. Anyway, I'm happy with with that. Pretty happy with that just clean up that bit of mess there gosh what a messy bugger i am today that's going to go in the lamp no it's not no 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 don't put it in the lamp yet right that white artisan gel paint that we used to do the clouds we are going to put some of that through the brown now you if, if you just keep gently putting your brush through the brown you're going to end up with um, like a lighter brown you kind of don't want it to be white white you don't want it really to be white but you want to have some like little light tanny brown kind of streaks running through the dark brown because that's going to give the branch a little bit of texture do I sound like I know what I'm going on about <laughs> I kind of do know what I'm on about but I kind of sometimes I just wing it yeah I love nail art anyway I love playing around with nails and paints and she is I'm literally, I can't tell you how much I'm loving this one stroke workshop that Hayley Partridge from Nailchemy has done. <gasps> it's amazing. If you want to learn one stroke, do this workshop. It's brilliant. It is amazing. So I'm like, oh my God, I can add one stroke to my YouTube video soon. I'm so excited. Anyway, moving on quickly because I've, I've moved on on here. Um, I'm adding some birds. So I was going to use black, but because I'd already got brown artisan on my palette, I'm just going to use the brown. And you know, like when you're a kid, you literally do like a like a, a scoop down and then a scoop up, not a scoop, like a curve line. You know, like you make those like stick birds. That's literally all I'm doing because they're going to be like right in the, that one. I ruined that one. Oh God, can't even do a stick bird. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three really terrible stick birds, but they're just like really, really, really I've got like ever so little product on my brush, like hardly any product on my brush. And I'm just making them really fine. Now you're not really they they're kind of gonna be there in the distance, but they're not really gonna be there's just another little detail that we you know. Anyway, these are the mini blossoms, they're from Nail Sugar, they're amazing. You can get 10% off any nail sugar glitters using my code NATMUG10. Um, by the way, the detailer brushes will be back in stock early April, so you've just got a few more weeks to wait. Um, these are little matte blossoms, and they're the most beautiful colours. And they're small as well, so they can be encapsulated in gel polish, as I will show you today. So to apply these, I'm going to go over with a very thin layer of base coat. This is the Nelkami base coat. And also, when you go over those clouds, you'll notice that on this one, compared to the other ones, it kind of, the base coat, it's like when you top coat them, um, it really brings the nails to life. But it kind of, um, what's the word, softens the clouds. Can you, you see, compared to the other ones, it's really softened them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> taking a dotting tool, I'm going to dip the end of my dotting tool into that base coat on the nail. And then that's just going to help me pick up some blossoms. And I'm just going to place them into that base coat on the nail where I want them. So I don't want them directly on the, on the branch. I kind of want them slightly off the branch. Not, no, on the... <laughs> 
<laughs> coming off the branch slightly but I do want them to overlap the branch a little bit and then I'm going to put them in the lamp and then I've done the same thing for all the others and cured them for 30 seconds and then I'm also going to do something which you probably won't want to do on um, on a real client because I don't think that'll last very well but I'll show you in a minute um, I'm applying a little bit of green artisan to my palette now we're going to add a little bit of greenery so again using my now sugar natalie mugridge detailer brush i'm going to take a little bit of the green um no a little bit of the brown and i'm going to mix it in with the green now this is just going to make the green a little bit darker you don't have to do this i just wanted a slightly i don't want a dirty green i just want a, a slightly deeper green and I, I think brown is better to use than black because black can be quite harsh. Um, but what I'm going to do is on the end of the twigs, not twigs, the branches, but on the skinnier end of the twig, the branches, I'm going to just add like, a, it's like a kind of tiny, tiny leaf shape. But this doesn't, it's not a really, a, it can be a bud or it can be a leaf, um, but it's so small. I kind of was going more of a bud. It was, there were supposed to be more buds. Um, but if you want them to be leaves, they can be leaves. Believe, I believe in you. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the same on this one because there are some little, um, like little branches on this one as well. So I thought we'd just add some on here as well. And, and again at the bottom. And then I will pop those into cure for 60 seconds. Okay, then on the blossoms, I've got the white artisan on the end of my brush. I'm just going to add like four or five little tiny dobs in the middle of the cherry blossoms. This is just like the like the pollen, is it? You know, just like the center of the flower. Just it just adds a little bit more detail, and I'm going to do that on all of them. And this, yeah, again, I'll cure them. I can, I don't know why I put one in and then do the other and then do the other because I could just do them all and then put them in at the same time. And it would save electricity. <laughs> Clearly, I'm an unintentional electricity waster. Unintentional. Yeah, that made sense. Yeah. Right. Anyway, once they cure, um, I'm going to put some of these blossoms on top. So I'm going to go in with a velvet matte top coat. So we're going to go all the way over these now. So because you've used the artisan gel paints, you want to make sure they're fully cured. So remember 60 seconds for the artisan gel paints and 30 seconds for the gel polish. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the top coats all cure for 30 seconds as well. So you can leave it shiny, but because I'm going to apply some blossoms on top, I want the max. I'm going to be using the gem glue. Now this is the bit that hang on hang on just wait just do this nuts don't get ahead of yourself so this is going to cure for 30 seconds so if you want them shiny they'll look like that you can leave them like that but if you're going to leave them like that i'd add a little bit more blossoms in just to fluff them out a bit oh it looks so cute already right but because i right i'm going to use the gem glue now if you put this i'm going to i'm going to take my um the dotted not the dotting tool oh the crystal picker up tool I'm using is the Crystal Pro from Scarlet Center. And I've got the Nelkami Crystal Totalist Gem Glue. I'm just putting a little bit on the end of the dotting tool of the Crystal Picker Upper. And then I'm going to pick up the blossoms and place them on the gem glue where I put them on the nail. See, so if I wasn't going to do this, I would have put more blossoms under the on the base coat before I top coated but I just thought this might give it a little bit of a 3d element kind of maybe ish um but this if you're going to put these on a real person they're not going to last five minutes they will I'm, I'm sure they'll pop off because the, the oh oh no I thought someone's car alarm was going off oh um they they will um because they're sh yeah I don't think they would I think they'll probably get knocked off quite easily I don't know I just don't think they'd last on top on a real person who's yeah but i thought just for this just for the sake of the video i thought i'd just put some on the top just because right now and also these the the blossoms on top are going to need some detail on as well 
so I'm using this is the white artisan but it's the stamping artisan and the stamping artisan gel paints are tack free so you can use this on top of a finished nail so I am going to apply this to the blossoms that we have stuck on with gem glue on top of the top coat so again just like four or five little um little dobs dib dib dob dob if you're a boy scout <laughs> what even are you on about i have no idea i can't i have no clue i have to say i was gonna say i have no idea and then i have no clue came out <gasps> oh my massage was finished oh there we go there we go it's all finished the gem glue cures for 60 seconds by the way sorry i waffle a lot but anyway i hope you like this video <laughs> If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Um, the link to Nelchemy's website I will leave in the description box below. And you can get 10% off any nail sugar glitters using my code NETMUG10. And I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video. I can't believe it's Friday tomorrow already. Oh, Anyway, love you all. Bye.